Hey, what is going on, pros and pros? This is KMJ and HS123, and uh, welcome to another commentary session. Today, we're going to be letting the old COD4 gameplay uh, play in the background as usual. It is domination on Crossfire. The final score is 30 to 4, so a pretty decent score. So, again, another sit down commentary session, another topic talk, another debate. More of a debate today, sorry, more of a debate today <laughs> rather than a uh, topic. Uh, it's not. It's not again. It's not really like a, a world life question. It's just more of I said like a debate. It's actually doing Call of Duty. So today's debate is what is the best COD gun of all time? Now I'm only going to say this up to Call of Duty Black Ops 2 because I have played Ghost, but I got to about level 20 and gave up because the game was so bad, and I refused to play Advanced Warfare because that is also a pile of trash. And as I speak, uh, Black Ops 3 has not come out yet, and that looks a pile of trash as well. But Zombies looks awesome, because it's original Zombies. But anyway, so we're talking from COD 4 to Black Ops 2, because they are, in my opinion, you know, the best you know, generation of games you know, to do with Call of Duty. But anyway, so straight away you're probably going to say, I know, M16, AK-47, you know, AN-94, you know, you know which, is, which is a very good... Answer so I have to say, you know, I could just say I'm 16, you know, and close, you know, end the video here. But yeah, you have to really consider a lot of other guns. Now, obviously, different guns have been reoccurring in other tiles, like let's take the M16. Obviously, you know, it's been in COD 4, you know, it's been in MW2, you know, it's been in, uh, you know, Billion Black Ops 1, it's been in, uh, you know, MW3, and I, I can't remember if it was in Black Ops 2, I think it was some copy or something, but so that gun's been, you know, with us through much of the series, just like the AK 47 has. You know, and obviously with the, the AN-94 with Black Ops 2, which is basically the futuristic AK. So we, well, I'll count that as the AK as well, guys. So, something like the M16, I mean, its accuracy is absolutely brilliant. You know, there's no recall. It's shooting like a laser. It's always had high power, good accuracy. You know, it's got the standard 30 size. You know, personally, I don't like its iron aim. Um, you know, I really do struggle with its iron aim. And I bet you're asking, why am I using the silence on this game? Well, this was a this was an old, older gameplay, which I had laying around. Uh, I do use Red Dot now because I really do don't like the uh, aim on it. But I mean, I know you get used to aims and stuff, but I just there, there is there's better aims out there, isn't there, guys? I find it quite I don't know. I find the circle quite I don't know blocking off the view, but uh, you know that's that. Uh, uh, but yeah, you know the M16. I don't know. I mean, the, the Black Ops One version wasn't that good, but definitely the COG4 version, you know, and Modern Warfare 2 version, was probably the best M16 versions in my opinion. You know, the one on here is just so overpowered. It's not overpowered. It's just such a good gun. You know, it's so good. You know, if you use it, you're gonna, you know, you're pretty much gonna do good because it's always. I think a big part of the gun is good power. You know, one burst and you can drop people. You know, the only downside sometimes with this gun is up close it can struggle because of the burst. You know, if you don't get them on target, you can struggle. And I've obviously, I've found that a lot where I do struggle up close sometimes, even with steady aim. You know, I do struggle sometimes. Obviously, the burst fire would be maybe a bit of a letdown, maybe a bit good, I'm not sure. It depends how you use the gun. I mean, the burst fire at medium long range is brilliant because it does, you know, control your, you know, your shots easier. Uh, I'm talking about the AK. Again, the AK from COD 4 has been in every one. I'm not sure what the best AK is. I mean, every, again, people could say the COG 4 AK, but the, the Black Ops 2 AN94 was really, really good. I really, really like that. You know, and the um, the the Modern Warfare 2 AK was, you know, really good. Again, being the Black Ops 1 AK not being too good, really. So again, you have to think, you know, you know, the AK again. It's got high power. Accuracy is okay. You know, it can be a bit uncontrollable at far. You'd have to tap, you know, the old trigger now and then. Um, you know, you have to, you have to. You know, you have to think about it, you know, and up close it's better because it's fully auto and stuff. And I, I don't know, it is a tough question, guys. You know, obviously the assault rifle class being, you know, having decent, you know, I can't say it, movability, sorry, so you are fairly light on the foot. You know, because I, I, I could straight away say, you know, RPD with grip is OP, you know, that gun with grip is crazy, you know, you know, a light machine gun as well, you know, or even like Black Ops 2 Target Finder, you know, something like that, but, you know, I don't know, one gun like that doesn't mean it's the best gun in the whole series because you know LMGs are heavy and you know they're this and they're that. And really you're just camping with an LMG, let's be honest, with Target Find, you are just gonna camp. But whereas in the Salt Warfare, you are gonna be mobile, you are gonna be good. Now I am gonna rule out submachine guns because you know, yes, you know, MP7 may be overpowered in you know Modern Warfare 3 and whatever, but I just you know, when you just get to medium long range, they really do struggle submachine guns, so I'm gonna rule out submachine guns, I'm gonna rule out shotguns and uh, sniper rifles as well because you can't just use them practically. So we are going to count, you know, we are going to count for you know assault 
you know, soul rifles. And I know you could think, oh yeah, the peacekeepers, you know, got the same stats as a soul rifle. But let's be honest, guys, the peacekeeper ain't that good. Come on, be honest. So we are gonna, you know, think of the soul rifles. Now I know you're thinking, you know, oh yeah, the G3 can be really good in the single shot guns. You know, it can kill people in two shots. But again, up close they struggle. Um, and then there's other assault rifles as well. But I really, really think it is the COG4, or, sorry, I really think it is the AK-47 or the M16 is probably the best, you know, Call of Duty gun of all time. And again, I really don't know what to pick because, you know, you have the burst fire up close, but then the AK is good up close, but the M16 is much better at further range because of its accuracy compared to the AK. It is really a tough one, guys. I mean, I don't know, what do you guys think? You know, do you think that another gun? And, and I know you... I know you're ever thinking as well, there's other guns as well. Now, I will include other guys. Now, think of the ACR. Think of the ACR Modern Warfare 2. That gun was, you know, that gun was 100% accurate. You know, it was, again, a decent all-rounder or so awful, but it was low on power, you see. So it didn't have that cutting power. Whereas you take the ACR from Modern Warfare 3, well, oh my god, that gun was so overpowered, it was crazy. You know, that had brilliant accuracy, it had high damage, and again, it was just a brilliant assault rifle. So again, even though the ACR has been in two, you know, in two series, does that honestly make it better than the AK? Now, the Modern Warfare 3 ACR is probably the best, one of the best assault rifles overall because it just has the same accuracy as the M16 and it's fully auto and it has high power. So you have to think, well, that's better than the M16 uh, because again, we are including all the games. So it is a, t it is a tough question, guys. I don't know, I don't know what to pick, and you know. I would say, I would pick the, the MW3 ACR because of just how overpowered it is, and it's true. You know, 100% accuracy pretty much, you know, 100%, you know, great power on it, you know, it's a soul rifle, it's, you know, you just can't beat a gun like that. It's just like the MW2, it's a shame it did have lower power, but, you know, it had a great accuracy, you know, everything else. I really don't know what to pick, guys. I mean, I, I mean, the ACR is better than the, the MW3 ACR, is better than the. The AK just due to its accuracy, but you know I believe the ACR was only in two genres of the game, um, so I really, I really don't know, guys. I know we're not really talking much about World at War, but I know they didn't really have an assault rifle category. They only had like machine gun and submachine gun, but again, submachine guns were a bit bad, up, you know, again further distance, and again the LM or the machine guns, you know, were tad heavy and you know weren't all the best. But I don't know, it's a tough one, guys, because then you can think about the Type 25. You know, on MW3 before they passed it, it was just like the M16. So you could say the Type 25 was, you know, much better than M16 because we all know what that gun was like before it was patched. So, and again, you have to consider patches and stuff, guns before and after patches. You know, what makes a gun worse, what makes a gun better? I really don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm going to say the ACR from MW3 because if they imported that stats, for, you know, to that gun on every other game, it would just be, you know, crazy. So I'm gonna say the you know the ACR from MW3. We all know what that gun's like. You know I want to say the M16, but you know I'm just gonna say the you know the MW3 ACR. But again, I'm always open. So question is to you guys: What do you think is the best gun? It can be a like machine gun if you want, which is fine. But I'm gonna go with assault rifles because again they're generally the all rounder great class. So let me know in the comments. You can pick a, you know a couple guns as well. Uh, you can pick a couple guns to choose from because there was a lot. But as always, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see all of you all later.